Hey guys, welcome back to Macintosh Weekly, and today in this video I'm gonna show how to upgrade your unsupported Mac to macOS Venture. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. So, and now, let's begin. For this guide, I'm using my Mac Mini Olay 2014 model, currently loaded with macOS Monterey, version 12.6.3. And the last supported OS on this device is macOS Monterey. For this purpose, you require a working internet connection and open core legacy patcher. You can download the open core legacy patcher from the link given under the video description. After downloading Open Core Legacy Patcher, open it. After opening OCLP, click on Build and Install Open Core. After it builds the configuration, click on Install to Disk option and, after the disk loads, select your internal drive, then its EFI partition and, proceed with all prompts. Now, after getting this dialog, click on Reboot and, during the reboot, press and hold the Option key on your keyboard. After reaching the Startup Manager, select Open Core EFI Boot option and press Enter key and continue booting to your Mac. Now, again open Open Core Legacy Patcher. After opening OCLP, click on Create macOS Installer and, after that, click on Download macOS Installer. Now, after the catalog is loaded, click on macOS 13 and, the installer will be downloaded in a while, depending on your internet speed. After the installer is downloaded and extracted to the application folder, close OCLP. And from the applications folder or launchpad, run macOS Venture Installer and proceed with the installer. And now, the update process has been started, make sure to keep your device plugged into a power source, otherwise, the update may get failed, or your device may get bricked. Also, during the process, your device will be restarted several times, so, don't worry about that.
And finally, the login screen is here. Log into your Mac. Now, after reaching the desktop, open OCLP. And now, click on Post Install Rule Patch option and, after that, click on Start Rule Patching option and, proceed with all prompts. Now, just click on Reboot and, you're good to go. And now, let me show you the hardware configuration of this unsupported Mac. And everything works perfectly, as expected. So, that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video. Subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.